Hi everyone, welcome to Plantas 3D. My name is Mohamed Usman and in this video we learn how we can create a realistic glass like this. Materials and lighting and backgrounds and much more in this video. Let's start this video. Firstly, we need to import reference image. So press shift A, image, reference, I have in desktop, here. Lower reference image. I put here. If you need to decrease capacity, is drop to power. So that's. Uh, I find out this image from Pinterest. So I also share you link of the description of this image. You can find out, and uh, you also search out some best. Um, reference images from interest and uh, from Google. So uh, let's start to make this. Now press shift K and add a curve to this angles. Press tab to go edit move and press A X boxes. Now press shift control so control and right mouse click here here you can see versus so after that press the select here versus and press control right click of mouse here here you can see the card so we manage it Scale down here. Okay. Here you can see the straight line. After that, select this middle versus and press control shift and control right click and rotate them. Press short key of R for rotation and there. Okay. Scale down seven to them. This is We put manually this, so we just create class for this, and uh, after that uh, we add uh, some circular thing at the end. So uh, we create this and press S to hide this and see this works. This over curve, our curve over shape. With our shape. So after that, uh, select this word uh, curve, go to modifier, add modifier, and here you find screw modifier. Here you can see screw modifier. And you can see the glass bottom is very thin. So some modify of these. Works like this, and press this to the This you can see how it has shaped. 
But we can also say a little bit on solidify so we have why we have this after that we add apply and you can see the our curve is not a mesh so right click and convert to mesh now your modifier is adequately applied after that we add a mesh circle press 7 to top view scale down scale set axis and scale down yeah uh, press art edge for a press image see the scale up yeah this is right so after that we will set them to bottom to add set after set it, press tab then we add it out then press these faces and fill this is fill now we apply on this solidify on this right solidify We apply solidify in the spaces. Press right click to share other soon. Yeah, yes. Correct. Uh, some help family may. Yeah, point zero two is better than for me. So you can also change this. After that, we create our model. So now we make texture of this. Uh, go to material modifier. Uh, material we got. So for that, increase our shader return. Shader return. New modifier. And press select this and delete. Now press shift A and add that glass node. Glass PSDF. Select both and press F to connect. Now you can see our glass is reflective. Reflective is because uh, if we put it into the cycle view, it's a transparent glass. Uh, now we uh, we use shader editor so therefore fine I use uh, I use the world I use this world scene. Therefore, our glass is reflective. So I use this uh, scene word HDRI. So, therefore, uh, this glass is transparent and uh, reflective. So, if we unhide this scene word, and you can see our glass is transparent, I shift A for light, for area light. Set axis. This height and to convert uh, 
because we can follow the this is not So we exchange this for some light, some star light, and you know, that's the star light, and you light. Share. Share a and a light turn center. That's just part of that. So we all see what we do. And we can see the quite change the actually are the reflection of our changing shows. We use this. I cried. So we can use which you like. I like this. This. And we can change the IUR. IUR. And that. And we have this. So, to be honest, after creating this material, select this button and click on this and press control L and we made it on it. I suddenly need to try in this and press this and select this press control J. Now we join this. So this is a uh, one now. Of this simmer set up the light, set up the background, mesh. Add a cube, scale up, shift set, front, set up, clap set, L, S, set up, excellent, and to be able to talk about it, it's like to draw the power, shift set, press tab, and in case it doesn't Chip A camera camera and press control alt C1. Here is our, our camera set. Press and to this properties, go to view properties, camera to view. Select the best camera and now after that, we set our lights. So, cameras. Set background color is not good, so the body set this box. This here not the case with new. So now blackish, I think. Blueish. The interface color is yes. I think it's okay. Now we set the our lives. So press edge, write them to know the upper view. And it was like it's dead. Yeah. 
Sai. Yeah, of course, we are not trying to solidify on this. So, the site colors, we can this, we can modify, solidify, also, so. Yeah, we said it in our chat. We said the render properties, noise. And click on this pictures directly. And click on this light and increase the properties to thin. It's 200. Yeah, much better. This thing fifty. Yeah, of course, better. You can also change the color of this little thing. Give for yeah. yeah. So after that, we said the is. Render properties. I use that one maximum sample to change uh, 12 maximum samples. So, it depend on your system how much you need, uh, how much your system is capable to maximum samples to check the denoise. Denoise check uh, when you will not check this denoise, uh, the denoise is in the render. So after that, we have render and render image. Now it takes some time to render image, and after rendering your image, you can see the results. You can see these results. I don't know why that this blackish. Yeah. I think this issues. Yeah, of course. Uh, select this edge and press Alt and submit. Our image is clear. I don't remember this. Now you can see our glass is clear. The blackish error are sold. Now we retake the render. The short key of render is F12. When you press F12, your render is start. So now we retake the render. 